What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Micah Belly, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. This is an abusive mother. Discuss Steve. Steve Wilco Show. Damn. Abusive mother. I really ain't got too much to say about that. I don't think I ever... Anyway, without further ado, man, let's get it. Welcome to the show. My guest is Janelle. Janelle, why are you here? I gotta figure out what's going on. I'm here because I've been abusive to my son since he was about six months. Um, well, how old is he When he now? was about six months, he was crying for a long time. He was getting on my nerves, so I taped his mouth up. Oh, and I put him in the closet. The closet was only about this big. It wasn't a regular closet. You taped his mouth up shut? And then I went to sleep. Like two hours later, I woke up. And I remember that he was in the closet and he was sleeping. He was laying on the floor. You dummy. He could be crying for whatever reason. Or he could be laughing. I would still smack him. When he was about four, I smacked him. I beat him up pretty bad. And I said, go sleep in the <laughs> trash. Because that's where you sleep. You trash. Just like your father. You just like your father. Then I went to sleep again. Okay. Listen. You know, I've heard, you know, things like this go around. Not saying I just talk to people who are like this, but I'm just saying I've heard things like this go around. And I'm going to just tell you guys something, man. For anybody out there that's going through this or knows somebody that's going through this, their beef is not with the kid. And that's and I'm not saying it to say that it's OK to do what they're doing to abuse their child. But what I'm saying is. The, the reason for it is because the beef is like not with the child. The beef is usually with the father as to why they're abusing the son the way that they do. You know what I mean? Like it's not with the it's not with the kid at all. It's just that I see you as your father and you're a spitting image of your father. Like, you know, but that doesn't make it all the more OK or anything like that. It's still it's still freaking wrong on all different types of levels, especially if you're doing all that. I'm going to hurt you. And I left him there. When I woke up, he was still in the trash because he was afraid that if he got up, I would beat him again. Honestly, beat me I, like I that. Don't even, even though you're a woman, but still, I like... I don't know what to say to that. Right. Have you seen my like, before? Yes. Then you know you should tell your story standing up, right? Yeah. <laughs> because he looked just like his father. I didn't see him as my son. I saw him as his son. That's how I could do it. But you know, you talk about taping his mouth when he was how old? He was about six months. You could have killed him. Yeah, I was trying exactly. To like you talk about this like you're ordering a sandwich. <laughs> I, no motion, no. Oh, Steve, you know, I'm crying. And that's the painful part of it. This is still technically a freaking baby, bro. Six months? My daughter is, she was born in March. This is June, so April. Three months. So still, even though within another three months, still a baby, not even one years old. But it don't matter. This is your child. Like, why would you think that that's. You're taping. Him, beating him. Tell him to go sleep in the trash or put him in the trash. I don't know what the. F this is a baby, bro. Somebody probably not even talking yet and then maybe so but regardless people like her like you couldn't even get no man to be her even though she's doing some effed up you know stuff to the kid you couldn't have somebody like me beat her up you would have to have you'd have to have females like people of her gender beat her up like you know her same sex and everything, like, yeah, yeah. Because if a dude were to beat her up, yeah, I'd just be, you know, he'd be locked up. And then, but if a woman beat her up, it would, it would be at least it would be equal, you know. Because somebody like her definitely deserve it. You overly deserve it. And I was hating him. And I sorry to keep pausing y'all, but I would just be having something to say, like. Because how I was brought up with, if you have any sort of beef or any sort of issue, you don't mess with my kid. I don't give I don't give a F word if it was our kid or if it was somebody else's kid or if it was somebody else's kid. Like, it just don't matter, bro. Like, when kids 
especially if they're babies. When there's kids involved, whatever you did is unacceptable. I don't care if you drive by, shot somebody's house, and a kid accidentally got shot. Like, that's just a, you know, that's just, like, we don't, we don't mess with that. We don't, you know, we don't take kindly to kids being, you know, now, whatever beef you got with the adult, fine. But once kids are involved, or even babies at that, like, it's just a different type of, you know, uh, uh, disciplinary action that needs to be taken into effect. Just looking at him. And I said, it's about time I do something. I could have kept abusing him. I would have did it. Nobody really knew. But I called DHS to come get him. But he knew, right? He knew he was being abused. That abuse. is why I made him go. And how long did this take? Four years? Five. Five years. Well, I stopped the abuse after five years. You're not me. No, you're right. You're damn right I'm not you. <laughs> so you think... What are you smirking about? Because I can. You because can. you don't know me. How do you, how do you smirk? How do you even fix a <laughs> smile on your face when you talk about abusing your son? I'm not talking about abusing my son. You know what? Don't rest on my chair. I don't want you to rest on anything. People ask me all the time, is this, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? It is, because okay. I can tell by the look on your face that you really are disgusted with me. Yeah, I am. At the while, he actually tried to fight back, but he was so little that that pissed me off even more. So I would beat him worse. And when you say you beat him, how'd you beat him? Punching him, kicking him. Smacking him, throwing stuff at him. Just about anything imaginable. I had somebody to beat up. Everybody was beating up on me, so I could beat up on him. Oh, okay. 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 So now we're getting even deeper into the issue. It's not even just the simple fact that you're a mirror image of your father, but I also used to get picked on. So now I'm about to pick on you. You're not about to pick on somebody that's your own size, that's, you know, plus size or whatever. That's a, you know. And then on top of that, it's like out of all kids. You don't mess with no kids, but out of all kids, you choose yours. Somebody who came out of you. I actually enjoyed beating my son. It's hard to do the show sometimes. Right, dude. I, I, hey, I don't know how he does it and has the patience. I would have lost it a long time ago. Like these people, honestly, think stuff like this is this is okay. Like, you know, I've watched numerous different types of you know Steve Wilco's videos and reacted to them. Nobody amazes me. From what I've reacted to. Nobody amazes me. Nobody. Not one person. Ever. Everybody disappointed me. And I don't see how he has the patience to do this. Because even though my patience are good. There's still people that I watch on these videos that I react to. And I want to put my hands on. Just through my computer screen. Just through this camera bro. But if I know if I were to do that show. I couldn't do it because I already. <laughs> He's got some good patience. His patience is a lot better than mine. I thought mine was good. doing something to my son like you did to yours? Yeah. Then I want to, like, rip this studio apart. His father knew. I smacked him on the... I was on the phone with his father. His father made me mad, and I smacked him. And all, his, all he did was, like, don't smack my son. He could have called the cops. I called the people because I want to help. Beat him. You slapped him. You kicked him. You taped his mouth shut. You put him in the closet. You met him sleep in the garbage. And in the closet. And you say it with a smirk on your face. Somebody I should still not. see my son on the weekends. I don't beat him no more. When's the last time you hit your son? Last week. Oh, yeah. Dude. Here, you want to sit? Good enough for your son, right? Should be good enough for you, right? 
imagine your son laying in that. That's nice. That's real nice. No, it's more trash than it. <laughs> Man, I didn't know you did too much to him. So what the f you talking? No, 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 no. I really want to choke the out of you right you now. No, you know, don't. He gonna no. get up. All right, you wanna holler Shut at me? Out of here. You wanna holler at me? He know, and I told him something to get. So I'm bad. Like he when ain't no better. Did, you said if somebody did that to your son, you would have did whatever you did. No. He know. He when know. You get out of my face. You think he know. So he know. He wants you to I come out here and go. My down. stage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I threw my cards down. I don't even know what your name is. Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. How yeah. did you get custody of your son? I had to keep fighting through the court system. She wouldn't. Every time we went to court, she'd cry and wouldn't say half a <laughs> in court. Without no proof, you don't have, I don't have nothing but her word against my word. But I kept fighting, and I finally got custody of my son. Does your little boy have problems because of what has happened to him? None. He's okay then. And he loves her to death. Damn. That's... Isn't that sad? And she talks about today, she's here because she wants her son back. She can never give him back. Do you hit her? I hit her one time. Well, she deserved it. I my son it. in my hand, leaving to take him with me. And she came with two big butcher knives in her hand. What the and I told her, you get too close to me, I'm going to hit you. She don't have supervised visitation. So she can take my son anywhere she wants. I think you take a copy of the show and you go to the judge. And you say, yeah. yeah. I'm the bad one, huh? I came at you with a butcher knife, though. I came at her with a butcher knife because he was beating the crap out of me. You a liar. Yeah, I look bad because I'm telling you the truth. When he not I, telling you the truth. For real, for real, he knew the whole time. And he done beat me up three times in front of my son. You lying. I'm not going to stand up here and lie on him. He never would abuse my son. That's the truth. But that's because he wasn't around half the time. She abused him now? No, he would never hurt my son. I'm but not going to come out here and but lie. But you would. I'm not going to lie on him and say that he would abuse my son. <laughs> when I called him for help, he wouldn't help me. I don't have nobody for me. I don't have no parents. I don't have nothing. It's not funny. I wasn't smiling because I thought it was cute. He took advantage of me, and then he left me with the baby. Did you take advantage of this young girl? No. I was 19. He told me he loved me. And then I, I did was it. his girlfriend. At that point, I he did love you. He had a girlfriend. I did when love I you, but I don't love you. I was because I was having a baby. I don't want to be with him, but I shouldn't have had this kid. I'm really trying not to grab truth, her. He got to tell the truth, too. He beat me up three times, mm. and every time he did beat you me beat up, he was in front of my son. Did you no, beat her up? I did not beat her up. me up with the knife incident. He is 6'4". He was beating the crap out of me. My son was two. He was standing there. I thought there. you wasn't coming at me did with he a knife. Call? No, I said I did come after you at the knife. Yes, I did. She's because probably the most honest guest we had. I mean, I'm not giving her... I'm giving her 100. Uh, I did what I did. Did you know she was hitting him? I knew she hit him when she called me on the phone. Why didn't you put a stop to it? I went and got my son. She will call the cops, say I kidnapped him. We go to court. She start crying. That's a lie. I, I, you know what? I, then, as, 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 as much as I despise this woman, she tells the truth. I would have never got with you if I had all the issues that I already had. And he knew mm. I had issues when he met me. That's what made it me so hold easy on, to get. Hold on, okay, hold on a second. You ever abuse your son? No. Never? Never. All right. You keep doing it. You keep taking care of your son. I hope that, you know, you'll protect him. I will know, protect him. And... I hope at some point that uh, things will work out better for your son, that he'll know two loving parents and not two people that are just at each other's throats all the time, okay? Thanks for being on the show. I got to go get some help. I don't, I love my son and I hate my son. I don't like to look at him for a long period of time. I'm not a bad person, but he's definitely with this baby. And he never wanted to be with me. And this is for life. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. But I, the one thing I would say to you is I do see somebody that I think wants to make a change in their life. I think it's somebody that realizes they made mistakes, some bad mistakes. So, yeah, I want to help you. I want to help you, and I want to make sure that you never do that to your son again. That's why I'm here. I think you're making a powerful statement to everybody out there. Yes, I abused my son. I put a stop to it. And I want to hear you say, 
You're never going to do it again. No, whoa. But I don't think it's best for him to come see I believe me you. now. I believe you. I think you need help. But I want him back. I just can't love him right. Are you ready to go get some help? Yeah, the sooner I get help, the sooner I get my baby back. Let's go get you some help. <laughs> I just didn't like how she was smirking the whole time. Like, that's that made my blood boil. I guess everybody deserves a second chance. <laughs> if you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Mike and Billy Game, we up out of here, man. I know sometimes it's kind of hard for you guys to like these type of videos. Like it because it's me. Don't like it just because of you like what you just heard. But I'm just saying, like... No, because stuff like this is hard to watch. It's hard for me to like it. It's hard for me to, you know, react to it. But it's entertaining. And I can give my viewpoints on it, you know, which might help you guys or whoever out there is going through something like this. Or if you guys know somebody out there is going through something like this. But yeah, man, if you guys like this video, give it a fat thumbs up, like, comment, share. My Billy Gang, we up out of here, man. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed one and a safe one. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.